Hey guys, welcome to Tea Time with Natty, where I talk about topics that you guys suggest and some of my own. And today I'm actually drinking lemon macaroon and it's from the Louisville Tea Company. Since today is my very first video, I'm going to choose to talk about social distancing. Let's talk about it. Social distancing is something that has recently been implemented because of this current crisis that we are going through. It is 2020 and we are currently in April. We're about almost through with the month of April. And this social distancing has been implemented from pretty much the middle of March. And it's been about a month now. And I'd love to hear what you guys have experienced with this new way of life. Where basically, we end up having to talk to everyone on our iPhones, to a computer, or if we are in person, we have to keep at least six feet away from each other. These are all safety procedures and precautions put on the entire world. And what are the results when we do choose to follow? So my personal experience with social distancing has been very difficult. I have found social distancing to be almost taxing on my emotions because I want to be in the same vicinity of someone because even being in front of them face to face via technology still doesn't feel like you're with them. To me anyway. I'd love to hear your thoughts. To me, being with somebody is getting to see their body language, not just their face understanding what's going on around you and sharing in that experience. And social distancing and doing everything through technology has kind of created a huge gap, in my opinion, between community. One of the biggest places that I've seen this have a devastating effect is in the church. I did have a church family that I was going to, but previous to that I was living on the road and I wasn't necessarily experiencing a lot of community. When I finally came to a place where I could have some community, I had it for about a month or two, and then social distancing was implemented. What it's done to me is caused me to realize a couple of things. One, how much I really value community. Two, that technology is actually pretty cool. That you can talk to somebody through a camera and somehow then connect with them later, or Facebook Live, or anything live, Instagram Live some kind of social media that you can connect to can then connect you with another person. However, you miss a huge piece of what makes hanging out with somebody so much fun. And that really is just the camaraderie. Just being able to look at them and know how they're feeling without them even having to say anything because you guys are experiencing the same things. Maybe you go to the grocery store together and they're out of an item that you don't have. Well, now you're vlogging it. Oh my gosh, I haven't, I can't, I can't find this thing anywhere. How are you dealing with it? You know, and it's not the same, but if you were together, you'd both look at each other, laugh, and it's like, well, this stinks. Let's try to come up with a different plan. Now, there are other things that this has affected, and partially it has to do with outdoors. I love hiking and I love going to parks and I really don't see why they had to close down all the state parks, all the trails, because in my opinion that is where I get the health benefits. I go outside and I feel much better. I feel healthier. If I go outside and I'm lost in a trail with no signs of civilization around me, there's no need to implement a social distancing rule when you're hiking because people don't necessarily hike in huge groups and if they are then that's where you need to implement a social distancing rule but not in the entire park which is what is actually helping us to deal or cope with this issue of staying at home not doing pretty much your regular routine and having to pretty much like change your entire way of living at least let's have some outside outdoor fun we have to be able to experience nature. First of all, God created it for us and our enjoyment. And if we're just stripping that away, we're stripping away quality of life. Sunshine is another huge factor. If it's super sunny the next day after it's been gloomy like it is today, I want to go on a hike. I want to climb to the top of a hill and I want to like, you know, there was a beautiful place here in Kentucky called the Natural Bridge and it was wonderful. and. People were abiding by the social distancing 
rule. And it, now the park is closed, and I believe it's in an effort to control this even more. But the problem is that we don't have the freedom anymore. And I understand there's seniors that we need to consider. I actually lost my grandma a couple of years ago to the flu. So I understand, she was like my best friend. She pretty much was my best friend. Outside of the Holy Spirit, my grandma and I, we just talked about life and I really miss that about her. So I understand the precautions. I understand why they're implementing this and why they're going above and beyond to protect people that are in a vulnerable state. However, being outside, getting fresh air is what actually helps you to develop health healthy antibodies, healthy immune system. When I go outside and it's springtime, there's all of this pollen in the air, the first thing that I go through is a stage of acclimating myself to the climate, to the flowers, to the pollen, to my new environment. My body needs that time. And the best way that I can do that is not by being outside on the street when cars are passing by and there's smog and there's whatever. It's being in the middle of nature, choosing where I want to go and not worrying about the, a park or a trail not being available to me because it's something that is outside. It's not a closed environment where this virus can actually reproduce itself and spread. That's why social distancing is important. Viruses spread from being in a tiny closed little space. So you and this other person and this other person and this other person decide to go to a store together and the store is small and one person has it and they start coughing or sneezing or whatever, there you go. But if you're out in nature, you're, you're hiking, you're far away from those people, the wind is out there too. It's all part of what is going to help us to cope with this and deal with it even longer. But taking everything away all at once, I am not in agreement. So that is my first video. Those are my thoughts on social distancing. I'm sure there's a lot more that I didn't cover and I'm certain there's a lot more things that I would have wished I wanted to say. I want to also finish this video by saying that I'm not in any way, shape or form against rules and regulations and doing things right. But I also am not against the quality of life that we have available to us. We have to be able to exercise our right to be outside, hike on trails, and places that are beautiful that we can literally deal with this right now. Anyways, thanks for watching, be blessed, and until next time, be sure to leave some comments below, be sure to leave some suggestions of topics you would like to talk about, and I will see you here on my channel. It's so magical out here. Rain in Kentucky sometimes reminds me of rain in the mountains. It's more of a mist. Beautiful.